Salt Lake City's biggest New Year's Eve celebration is back in full force this year. Mike and Jacqueline are here to tell us all about it. Jacqueline, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks so much for being here with Thank us. Thank you. So tell us about the celebration. What's yes. going on? What time does it start? All the good stuff. Okay, so we are hosting the last hurrah for the fourth year at the Gateway. Love it. And last year we took a break and did the event primarily online. So we're so excited that we get to welcome people back. They're back. It's the largest uh, New Year's Eve celebration in the city and it's free, it's open to the public. It's basically a large street party with live music, lots of fun busker performers, and then a lot of the Gateway uh, merchants will be open late till 1 a.m. so that people can duck in, get warm, get some food, come back out, enjoy the music, and then of course, a countdown with a fireworks show. Of course, of course you have to have fireworks on New Year's yes. Eve. So tell us, what time does the live music start? So all the festivities start at nine o'clock, and okay. then honestly, throughout the entire Gateway will be spread out with buskers, and then in the plaza will be the main stage that will have the DJ and then two live bands. There's entertainment everywhere you go. What kind of music will be played? There's amazing local musicians, um, the Brothers and the Rubies, and they are high energy, perfect for New Year's Eve, perfect for that celebratory atmosphere, and it's really gonna be a party. I'm so excited. It yes. sounds like it's going to be a blast. So lots of people are probably wondering what kind of drinks will be available at this yeah, party. Yeah, so we'll have several pop-up bars, and you can get anything from a hot chocolate to a hot toddy and Love a it. lot Something of the for everyone. yeah exactly <laughs> and then the gateway merchants will also be serving beverages so newly opened flanker will be open right in the plaza seabird cocktail lounge the food hall that has six restaurants within that and a bar and then sweet world tacos if you want a sweet treat will be open till 1 a.m so lots of things to do and duck into you guys literally have everything covered yes so it will be i mean it is utah and mm -hmm. it's the end of december people are probably wondering how can they stay warm at this sure event. Yeah, I mean, we will, it's definitely winter, so, but we will have the fireplaces lit, we will have heaters out, and again, so many merchants will be open that you can duck inside, hang out, you can go to Dave and Buster's, play some games, and then come back out and see the fireworks. So there's lots of opportunities to warm up along the way and really just have a great experience. Love it, you guys really have everything covered. You have people open up later, you have the drinks, you have the It's the place to be for New Year's Eve, And you sure. mentioned a couple of them, can you give us a little more um, names of the merchants out yeah. Yeah, so Dave and Buster's will be open for families. Flanker, which is new to the Gateway in the Plaza, is open for 21 plus. No reservations required. Love but it. of course, visit at thegateway.com just for the full list of merchants that will be open late. And some of them, if you want to get a reservation just to ensure that you have a seat, you can do that there too. Love it. Really quick before we toss to Mike, where can we go for more information? At thegateway.com, you'll see a big last hurrah banner. Just click on that and I'll have all of the details for the event. All right, okay. And Mike is here. He's going to show us a quick demo. I can't wait to see it. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. 